Card Cut Tales How to make a shoebox theatre This is the shoebox, the bigger the feet the better And here are the items we use to make the theatre On the top and the bottom of the box put duct tape just as the diagram shows you Tuck it round the edges to make the side doors, draw on these lines. Inside the box, stick down the sides using sticky tape. It's only temporary. We're going to cut out the side door. Just remember, don't cut the dotted line. On the top of the box, draw these lines, just like the diagram shows you. The box with the two panels cut out, then folded carefully back to form the stage doors. Now you can see the basic shape of the inside of your theatre. The extra bits of cardboard are from inside the box. You can use them to make models and scenery using the lid of the box to make the front of the roof. Notice it's been painted white. Two openings have been made along the top of the box. Don't cut further than the edge of the duct tape. Now all the pieces are painted white. We use gesso mixed with a little bit of water, but you can also use acrylic. Decorating. We decorated the roof using marker pens. You could use crayons, paint, stickers, glitter. Go wild! On a piece of white card, draw a diagram for your curtains. This is what they look like when they've been coloured in. Any colour you like. And here they are standing up against the theatre with the roof on. Now you can see a view from the top of the theatre. It's not very tidy, but you can't see it because the roof's on. And here's one with the backdrop so you can see how it works. This is a picture from above of a much bigger theatre that we made. It's got a large gap and also a small gap for the backdrops. Extra card has been stuck onto the side panels here, helps to give stability and also hide your hands when you're using puppets. And small pictures and the big backdrop have been stuck onto card, one for the backdrop and the other for side pieces, so help hide your hands. And this is our shoebox theatre. Making the puppets. How to make a simple stick puppet. On a piece of card or cardboard, draw out your design. Now colour in your picture with pens or crayons, whatever you like. The figure all coloured in and ready to cut out. Do it carefully. Turn your picture over and attach a long stick. You can use glue, blue tack, anything you like really, as long as it sticks firmly. And here he is, all ready to stand up on his stick. And these are just a few examples of other stick puppets that we've made. They can be anything you like, monsters, aliens, can also make string puppets. These are very small to look at, but very easy to make or cut out of a magazine. Just put a piece of string onto your puppet, wrap it round a stick and drop it through the gap at the top. Scenery. Some of the scenery we made and found in the toy box. There's a plastic tree in there somewhere.
how to make a simple standing bush. Using cardboard or thick card, draw then cut the shape of a bush, just like this. Colour in the design of your bush or tree. A small piece of cardboard has been bent into a V-shape, one side attached to the bush. This shows the bush from above. It's standing nicely. You can do this with most of the scenery. Backdrop. Need a piece of card the same length as the cut across the top of your theatre. Cut the card so it just fits inside and draw on your design. Make it really bright, but not too busy. Turn it over and on the top of the card at the back attach a long stick. Make the stick longer than the card by a couple of centimetres. It can rest on the edge of the theatre. If you use very thick card, you won't need a stick. Just make it longer so you can raise it up and down easily. The finished backdrop for your theatre can be anything you like, remember? You could be in space or a jungle. Enjoy making your theatre and don't forget to listen to the story The Cat and the Dancing Hat. Goodbye. <laughs>